this one I am really excited for because it's about saltwater crocodiles. I love these animals. They are so fascinating. Uh, in fact,
using their specialized palatal valve, which allows them to open their mouths underwater without actually taking in water, ensuring that they can bite and hold prey without drowning themselves. Their diet is diverse and depends on their size and the environment. Young saltwater crocodiles feed primarily on fish, amphibians, and small mammals. As they grow, their prey expands to include larger animals like uh, birds, wild boar, and even other reptiles. Fully grown adults are absolute apex predators, capable of taking down much larger sharks, and occasionally humans. Their hunting technique often involves waiting at the water's edge, where they use their immense strength and speed to lunge at unsuspecting animals. Their powerful jaws clamp down with incredible force, dragging the prey into the water. Once submerged, they employ what's known as the death roll, a rapid spinning motion that disorients and drowns the victim. This brings us to the topic of their bite strength. Saltwater crocodiles possess the most powerful bite force of any animal currently living on Earth that we're aware of. Research has measured their bite pressure at over 3,700 pounds per square inch, which is far beyond that of lions, tigers, or even great white sharks. This enormous force allows them to crush bones, snap necks, and hold on to their prey with almost unbreakable tenacity. This bite strength, combined with their sharp conical teeth, makes them particularly lethal hunters. Their jaws aren't designed for chewing, but rather for gripping and tearing, which is why they often swallow large chunks of flesh whole pieces off of their prey. When it comes to attacks on humans, saltwater crocodiles have earned a fearsome reputation, and it is not undeserved. Unlike some other predators, which might view humans as incidental prey, saltwater crocodiles don't shy away from attacking people. There have been numerous confirmed cases of crocodiles particularly in regions where humans live or work near crocodile habitats. In areas like northern Australia and parts of Southeast Asia, these attacks are a significant concern and fatal encounters are not at all uncommon. The reasons for these attacks vary, but most often humans are seen as opportunistic prey, particularly when they come too close to the water's edge enter crocodile territory, or when the crocodiles are particularly either hungry or territorial. Saltwater crocodiles are not afraid of humans, and they don't need to be provoked in order to attack. To them, a human at the water's edge is simply another source of food, and they can strike with lightning speed and devastating precision. Saltwater crocodiles reproduce is another fascinating aspect of their biology. They are solitary creatures for most of their lives, only coming together during the breeding season. Males will compete for territory and the right to mate with females, with larger males usually dominating the smaller rivals. Females typically lay between 40 and 60 eggs in a nest, which they construct from mud, vegetation, and other debris. These nests are often located along riverbanks or coastal areas, carefully chosen to avoid flooding and to offer protection from predators. Once the eggs are laid, the female remains nearby to guard the nest, a behavior that contrasts with many other reptiles which abandon their nests after laying. The temperature of the nest determines the sex of the hatchlings, Warmer nests tend to produce males, while cooler nests produce females. After about 80 to 90 days of incubation, the eggs begin to hatch. The mother, who still remains protective, helps the hatchlings break free from their eggs by gently rolling them in her mouth. Now, once hatched, the young crocodiles are incredibly vulnerable to predators like birds, large fish, and other crocodiles of 
extensively for their valuable skin, which is highly prized in the leather industry. This overhunting led to significant population declines in many parts of their range, particularly in Australia and Southeast Asia. By the mid-20th century, saltwater crocodiles were at risk of becoming endangered. However, conservation efforts, uh, particularly in Australia, have helped the species to recover. In the 1970s, saltwater crocodiles were granted legal protection, and since then, their populations have rebounded significantly. Uh, today, they're no longer considered endangered, although they still face threats from habitat destruction, illegal poaching, and the occasional conflict with humans. Conservation of saltwater crocodiles is essential not only for preserving biodiversity, but also for maintaining the balance of ecosystems. As apex predators, they play a crucial role in regulating the populations of other animals within their habitats. Without them, the delicate balance of these ecosystems would be disrupted, potentially leading to overpopulation of prey species and subsequent ecological degradation. Their survival is closely linked to the health of the ecosystems they coastal wetlands, rivers, and estuaries, which are themselves under threat from human development and climate change. In addition to conservation efforts, there's been a growing scientific interest in studying saltwater crocodiles more closely. Their incredible ability to survive in both freshwater and saltwater environments has raised questions about their physiological adaptations, such as how they regulate salt intake and how they navigate vast distances in the ocean. Research of the bite force, muscle structure, and sensory systems has also provided valuable insights into the mechanics of predation in large reptiles. So in conclusion, the saltwater crocodiles are awe-inspiring millions of years of evolutionary refinement. Their physical characteristics, from their massive size and armored skin to their crushing bite force, make them some of the most effective predators on Earth. Their behavior, marked by patience, aggression, and territoriality, further highlights their dominance in their habitats. While their interactions with humans can Understanding these encounters is critical for both human safety and crocodile conservation. As we continue to study and protect these ancient reptiles, we gain not only a deeper appreciation 